Yeah, it's all me. Do you know how hard it is to pick from a box of chocolate when you can't see the little legend? I mean, I zoomed in with my phone and then I felt around and I'm like, this one has the top that feels like it could be that one. Took a bite and I was right. Legally Blind 1, Life Legally Blind 0, because hello, sometimes you struggle on the simplest things, but hey, how rude of me. Happy Sunday. Hey, it's A, back on your screen with another vlog. Hope you're all well. As you can tell, I'm treating myself. This morning, I did a lot of what I usually do for my Sunday reset. I'm going to have to get this hair straightened in a bit. I'm going to have to run out and run an errand, and it's gloomy, as you can probably tell. I was supposed to do a try on haul for you guys today, but um, no natural lighting. I mean... <laughs> scratch that what I'm really trying to say is I don't have the patience to set up my softbox if you know you know and I spent most of the morning trying to re-edit the video I uploaded yesterday so I had to take it down edit it re-upload it because it was ineligible if you're a content creator you know exactly what that means I'm not going to get into it I also have to edit another vlog so that's up and stuck by tomorrow and you guys can see it as well as two shorts a reel and a tiktok so I got a lot I just knew. I said, don't even look at the clock. Don't even look at the clock. After my shower, I saw two o'clock. I said, today? Officially? Because it is a new day. But let's get it. It is a Monday without a matcha milk. grateful that this tripod is not lopsided the video that i was up editing last night was a vlog of course what else would keep me up so late and half the footage was so lopsided i gave up halfway here's the hard part trying to pour in the small lip of the bottle with the spout that is not blind girl friendly oh and it's burning and it's on my leg ow <laughs> oh my hand I know it's not just me, my friend tried to use my kettle once and spilled a lot too. Is it full enough? It don't have to be. Pack lunch, save money. Anything that might spill goes in a separate bag. Fruits that are cold also feel wet. Oh, 
we're not going to do is what we did last time. I was so out of breath. Did I do this right? I wish I had the machine that I used in the summer. Constantly in motion. I feel like my bang yangs are all over the place. Hey. I can't even see the viewfinder. <laughs> I'm constantly in motion. Always go, 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 go. Wait, wrong way. Oh, this is the quietest I've ever seen it here. Usually it's so crowded when I leave at one, but I guess it's because before the storm comes. The wires to line up. <laughs> I keep bumping into them. You're right, I never thought of styling it that way. I can't lie, I kind of like coming downtown on a Monday. Look how much quieter it is around here. So let me just pick up. Surprise, surprise. Package pickup is in the back of the back of the kids section. I can't believe I worked here 15 years ago. It's so crazy. Yeah, it's all me. I kind of went a little crazy. Another day done. It's after five, so I'm just gonna dismantle this. I didn't do too much. Oh, there's one more thing I need to do. I have to make this into a vase. Hashtag ghetto. We have to change it out every day if you do that, but I've done this here. But how do I? From this to this, can you tell? Honey, I'm home. What a day, what a day, what a day. Even the pods are going off today. Listen, how many of them were about AI? Maybe I should make my podcast about that tonight. Nah, I'd rather record something else since we did it about chat GBT. That's what I call it because it's coming to snatch all our jobs. So if you haven't heard last week's episode, definitely check it out. I'm so excited for tonight's episode. You'll know when you know. Oh my gosh, this bag is bursting at the seams. You know how many times I've dropped this, dented it? Cha. Today was fun. So let's hope to God the buttons stay on this one. Zara this quality went way down. Vlog finally uploaded, even though I set it to upload before I left work today. Tell me why. Why does this feel so cheap? Come on, Zara, what are you doing to us? Uploaded maybe like an hour ago with a copyright claim. No. <laughs> Today's been one of them days. I didn't think this would be that big. I thought it would be literally half, if not a third of the size. This is a big bag. I got two different styles. So I'm gonna pick one, send the other one back. Finally got a wire. Oh wait, this is not the one I was excited about. The tech guys at work are so sweet. I didn't eat half my lunch. Well, that means less to pack tomorrow. What was I saying? Battery died. Trying to make a Dell and Apple product. That's how you know I'm an Apple head. Today's one of those days where it's just like you have to laugh. I made it through. It was actually a really good day. Just a lot happening. <laughs> this stupid thing I bought so I wouldn't have to blow up the balloons broke after two balloons. So I'm standing there like, really? I'm gonna be lightheaded again. I don't know if you've noticed, but the situation when the <laughs> screen is up here is a little rache, if I do say. So hopefully this will make it better. As soon as I put this dress on this morning, little strain or whatever that keeps the slip part of it connected to the top part gone so it's riding up while I'm walking and I'm like I'm giving someone a free show I already know what I'm going to do the reason why I got this is I saw Leah's face she wore a dress like this on our last trip hers was from Kalgaya I never clicked the link so quick but when I saw that price tag I'm like mm, you can keep it so when Zara dropped this I was here for it. I love this color. It's not as pretty as the papaya one she got. Editing Alicia, remember to put a picture of what I'm talking about. Plus, this is perpetually loading. Oh my goodness, it's gonna take at least two hours for YouTube to take the song off, but it's already up, it's already done. I have a feeling this is a tripping hazard. Why do they have to, can you see? They made it a balloon bottom. It's something different. And I like this material, it's very, Thick with two C's, but still stretchy. I feel so pretty. Itty bitty titty committee. <laughs> Somewhere over the rainbow. 
I'm trying to adjust these straps, and they don't have a little loopy thing. Hello? I don't know who this was made for. Is this actually extra small? It doesn't feel like extra small. Where's the tag? It says extra small. It's fitting like a medium, though. It's loose here, loose here. I don't know why this is not giving me what I thought it would. This is a missed moment. It's giving me like a horror movie nightgown kind of vibes. Or maybe it's just because it doesn't fit right. I don't know. <laughs> All right, you already saw this one, but at least there's no busted buttons this time. Hopefully, knock on something. <laughs> the only thing I didn't really notice the first time around is how strong the shoulder pads are. It's kind of giving a little extra, if you know what I mean. But I mean, what do you think? It's Tuesday and I'm kind of tired. I went to bed much earlier last night than I did the night before. I went to bed nearly at two on Monday to Tuesday. No, I lied. That was Sunday to Monday. And then Monday to Tuesday today, I went to bed at midnight. Not bad. Bananas. <laughs> Depending what grocery store I buy them from, they ripen so fast. I take back the white dress because I'm swimming in it. Which is funny since the model was wearing it in water. You know what the containers look like? I always put the flavored one in this one and the Grand Cru, which is very potent in the black container. I really want to have matcha in Japan one day and see if it's really like what it is here. I know a couple friends have gone there and had sushi and they said it's nothing like what it is in the States or Canada. Three scoops is all I need. You know, I'm gonna buy some more. They had a honeydew one back in the day. I think I raved to you guys about it when I used to drink it every single day for three years. Finally getting around to trying out that serum that Influencer sent me. They keep sending me emails saying, what do you think of it? I'm wearing a glove. I'm not burning my hand again today. I haven't tried it. How can I tell you what I think of it? I'm not gonna lie to my followers. Give me some time to figure out what I think about it. Can't rush results. I tear my hair up today because I never wear it up anymore. I go through phases in my life where, oh, also the drop earrings. I haven't worn these in years. It was so packed on the subway yesterday. So you still still probably thin on the top so it doesn't get squishy. There's certain sounds that get on my nerves and I wonder if it's just me or if it annoys you too, the sound of plastic crinkling or when you open a package and you hear all that paper, that packing paper, ooh. Nails on a chalkboard to me. That's because I hear well, you see. What glasses should I take today? Yesterday were the gold ones, today I take the pink, purple ones. I think <laughs> doing the most right. Okay, so you got these. Better than them being stretched out. Never wear your sunglasses on your head. I learned that the hard way. Ruined a good pair of sunglasses. And my pod has dropped 12 minutes ago, so go check it out and let's go. What do you guys think? Sorry, I left you upstairs. You're just on the iPhone right now. How does it feel? It feels good. I'm just wondering if it's gonna be tiring to walk in them because they don't have any cushion. You can put like the so even if this is clear for dogs. Please spare me change. I just finished a 40-minute yoga session that was so relaxing. I can't wait to go to bed. But first, a little self-care. <laughs> Steve Madden shoes. I hope that I have the clip for you. I took it with my iPhone, but I won't know until post pro when I'm editing if it's worth it to put up. Plus, angles of the feet. I mean, I just think everyone's feet are ugly. But I'm super excited about these shoes. I bought sandals at the end of last summer. I mentioned in a vlog last year that I was at the beach and the strap just came off my shoe. And I bought another pair, which causes bubbles. You know what a bubble is, you know how painful they are. And I wanna treat myself to a nice blinged out sandal. A lot of their sandals are really like out there. I don't remember Steve Madden being that crazy or maybe I'm just getting older. You know, sometimes your style evolves. I like really muted things. It's giving Gladiator, which is weird because I thought Gladiator was out of here. I think this shade of brown is so pretty. It's almost the same color as my feet and hopefully it'll be a very nude color once I catch a tan. But Steve Madden is very good quality. I refuse to give any more money to Aldo. 
you saw the way my shoes looked at the end of what last week's vlog mm -mm -mm. i'm not really a shoe girl i know a lot of people love shoes especially the way i walk I walk a lot now if i drove maybe i would drop on some giuseppe's you know what i mean but since i'm a commuter i gotta be real it doesn't really seem to make sense plus stairs are kind of scary when you're visually impaired so adding sky high heels to that fiasco i don't know about that i'd rather wear my flats the more relaxing part of the evening i'm just gonna do wipe my teeth and probably do a little bit of a lip mask as well if not at the very least a lip scrub let's see what we get up to started to do a couple emails and then it's like nope go to the gym started shutting down let's just hope it doesn't pop goes the weasel i still haven't transported these into this yet don't let me forget i also gotta water you because it's water wednesday and this leaf is looking kind of sad to me is looking very thirsty i'm also thirsty too which is why i made a what is this today strawberry banana spinach again with that nasty s'mores protein powder smoothie Ooh. let's just call it green machine because the protein is gonna amp me up just clean that up this year or next year i'm trying to make an eggo waffle fallen off so many netflix series i'm just not a big tv buff i get bored really quickly especially since it's so much to train and see when i'm sitting right up at the screen but i do love movies i love the atmosphere of a movie especially when you go for a comedy the only thing is i can never see captions or when someone's texting and you need to see what they're texting to get a clue of what's happening in the scene forget about it it's just like my real life i can't see my own text messages afraid to go to lululemon it had a new color drop and I just want to see if it compares to the stuff that I got from Aloe last week. Speaking of, I'm doing a Lulu versus Aloe video on my lunch break. So I'm gonna have to be very organized. Last night, I started watching some music videos from Blueface and Krishan. I just wanted to know like, who are these people? How they get their start? Her story is so sad. I didn't know her mom was on drugs and her dad was in and out of jail. It makes a lot of sense. Somehow, Society and pop culture always seems to promote foolishness, debauchery, drama, disrespect, demeaning material. It's all intentional by design because it keeps certain people suppressed. And if you don't aspire to do more and you think the chaos is all that you've came here for, as in this life purpose and this mission, then you don't reach your full potential. And then you also feed the school to prison complex, but we ain't got time to talk about that today because I need to get to work. Hopefully you can see me. <laughs> Next on the chopping block are these two biker short sets. This is what trying to film on a Wednesday looks like. Crazy. Okay, Put 
friends Still getting them better after all this time These niggas say that they kill it, they lying Only thing I see I'm killing this time One hundred million, I'm still on the grind 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 Never pet a rat, never shut a lot Only what you think you say I saw that they had a hot pink color, but I don't think it's in stores yet. But this fire orange red, nice, but I think I like the aloe one better. This yellow thing, so pretty. I'm obsessed with this dried fruit. Every time I go to Loblaws, I went after Lululemon, by the way, but I would, it was so packed in there, I'm like, I'm not vlogging. Anyway, every time I go, if I'm out of dried fruit, I have to re-up. I'll put that up later. Tonight on the menu, though, because I need real food, is maple soy glazed salmon that I prepped before I left. So it's been marinating for a few hours. Coconut is so chewy. <laughs> salmon is one of those fish, any flavor, it takes it. I also have basa fish, which I want to try. I was thinking of doing it honey garlic style, but I don't think you're supposed to put that kind of flavor with white fish. Let me know how you make your tilapia, your haddock, your basa, or baja. I don't even know what the fish is called. This dish looks like World War III up in here. I have never made a meal that I've loved as much as this. And I've made this so many times before, but something about, something about this time. I don't know if it's because I put too much cayenne pepper on it or I let it marinate for a long time, but it is so good. I'm so proud. To think a decade ago, I would never have known how to make this. A lot can change. There's a saying that says we overestimate what we can do in a year and underestimate what we can do in 10. This right here lives up to that. See you guys in the morning. I was dreaming about work this morning, so I was like, you know what, just get up and log in. If your brain has already started working, you might as well too. So now I'm gonna do a quick yoga sesh. I was doing a little bit of meditation in the bed before, and as I was thinking and half dreaming, admittedly, because I was still tired and praying, I was just so overwhelmed with gratitude. I just realized this is the first time in a very long time that I've been happy consistently, you know? I haven't felt this way in over six years. I would say the last time I felt this way actually, 17, 18, 19, before diagnosis. Whatever comes my way, I can handle it. Not saying I want more my way, because sometimes when you say things like that, the universe throws everything your way. And I want to keep this winning streak for a bit, so I'm going to do my yoga sesh. Give your shoulders a little release at the foot down, fall and try to open your chest. Put the knees down. You're lifting, you're really trying to. Or a full bind, right? If that feels good. Goodbye, six kids, but all the same, no. This is why I don't open up Instagram in the morning. I don't need that stupidness. You know what I'm gonna do? My bag of Becca. So, you guys see this in the corner? Hopefully, I framed the shot so you can see. Because I can't see you. Oh, I should probably take this out since yoga is done. I haven't worn this set from Skims in so long. I used to think, oh my gosh, this is going to be my new sleepwear. I'm going to wear it as loungewear. Da -da -da. The way it is pilled, if you know, you know. I can only wear this every once in a while and definitely not to bed because the other pair I had threw it away. I literally took $170 and threw it in the trash when I hit add to cart. This is my little bag of backups. I'd say 90% of what I purchase nowadays are backups so that when I run out, I don't have to run to the store. Not that it's far away, but still. If I can save a little bit, why not? I need another one of this, which is the Summer Friday Lip Gloss because I finished two in the last year, which is not bad. I'm going to need another one of this, which is my favorite brow pencil. So blind girl friendly. And there's two other things that I was like, girl, you need to re-up on. And I remembered right here oh this i really wish that they kept their limited edition colors a little bit longer because i would have bought two of these if i knew how much i love the smell of this mango one but by the time i threw it in my cart it sold out again mascara because the rare beauty one really isn't that good it keeps clumping and i can't fix a clump because i can't i can see it but i can't whatever you guys know if you're legally blind you know exactly what i'm trying to say 
and I have a backup mascara, which I'm gonna save for the end of this month. I'm supposed to use them for three months, but I can't tell you the last time I threw out one after three months. I usually keep them for five. Can't lie. I also have a backup Makeup by Mario liner, but I think I still have a little bit left. I have to sharpen it up. The hand sanitizers that I got recently, I've tucked in here as well. Also got something in the mail. I don't know who it's from. <laughs> Blind problem number three. You can't see when something's addressed to you. And there have been times where I've opened something. It wasn't meant for me. I can't, where's my phone? Wild one. Oh, I just won't see for a couple more weeks because yeah, this is not until what? June 11th, I think. Super excited. I'm going to replenish my backups and get right back to, I was trying to do this test last night until 1130. I failed five times. I know, I know, it's so bad to eat and work, but you gotta do what you gotta do. And this is a two for two. Last night's dinner was delicious. This morning's brunch, because I already had a waffle. So good. Oh my gosh, spring is finally here. It's so nice right now. You can see, no coat on me. I'm just running out quick to upcycle some of my bottles and pick up another shot of ginger. My throat's a little scratchy and I'm not here to play, okay? Make our own juice today because I'm not going back. That's the third time that's happened. First two times at least they had a sign that said out to lunch. I only have 10 minutes left in my break. And this alone takes 10 minutes to strain. So you know what I might do instead? Pop the top and make a pineapple peach mango smoothie instead. And I forgot to get a green apple and I was in the apple section looking at them like, do I need apples? No, I'm good. This is, what kind of mutant huge cucumber is this? Day, what a day. It's getting cloudy already. This is my favorite part of cutting a pineapple. If it works. Right, though, maybe. There we go. And the rest is history. Ah. But wait. Messinal 3. I am so tense. Sometimes I do this at work and people at other desks look at me and I'm like, oh yeah, it is kind of weird to just be stretching at your desk. Wait, can you even see me? I had this epiphany and I was thinking, we talk about authenticity as a process and you find your purpose along the way and some people know it innately as a child, but who would you be without your story? And what I mean by that is we tell ourselves we are who we are. And we told ourselves we are who we are yesterday, the yesterdays that came before yesterday. But when do we decide that we're gonna be different today versus another day? And how do we change that story? We bring it to a boil and then use salt. Jalapeno water. Yep. This is really good. Happy Friday. I wasn't even up that late. I edited for two hours last night. I was in bed before midnight. So I think it's just the way of the week. You know how that goes? And my computer's restarting for the second time. It's a little bit after eight. Oh, actually 10 after eight. So let me run to the gym real quick and just do 25 minutes. That's all I got really, because I have to still come up and shower. Today's workout session really got me. Really, really got me. Morning! Got my apple. Ooh, wait, okay, hold on. Let me just turn off my pod. Stay educating yourself. That podcast always keeps you in the loop with what's going on in the financial world, which also loops into the tech world, which you guys know I'm obsessed with. I grabbed my apple earlier this morning. I probably won't make this green juice until two or three, let's be real, because I have so much to do. Remember when hand clapping in between every word was a thing? Yeah, 
We had some dark times in the era of social media, haven't we? So we'll go with that way I've entered. <laughs> so extra. Okay, so I want beet juice. Is this deep root? This is the best one. Trust me. Try it. So good. Where is deep roots? Oh wow. In between lunch and dinner, so I decided to make some guac and chips. Who goes to a store three times just to get this? Well, I got the beet juice too, but I'm saving that for Tuesday when I'm in office. It's so good to have an extra kick of energy when I'm running around like a chicken with my head cut off. I'm gonna snack on this, finally get to editing so I can get two videos up this weekend. Okay, who am I kidding? I can probably get one video up today slash tomorrow morning. It's probably better to post top of the morning. I went to Aloe to exchange the top because I, I just wasn't really feeling the back out business. Yeah, let's cut this tag. I bought this dress before the pan began. It was actually for a family reunion we were supposed to have in 2020 in Antigua that never happened. Figured today is the perfect day to wear it. It's 18 degrees, it's gonna be 25. Gotta go put our name on the list. My keys and my sunglasses. My laundry downstairs, which, cue to the cutaway. That, that is not okay. You cannot tell me that I see what I can see and someone who could probably see perfectly left that in the washing machine. Mm -mm -mm. Because today is a jam-packed day. I have to go back to Aloe to return that shirt. It has a hole in it. Did I show you guys that yesterday? I can't remember. <laughs> so then she goes up, so I'm like, I miss you. Aww. Cheers. Uh, say hi to Banu. Hi, new mommy over here. <laughs> We're here and we didn't have to wait too long to get to the back patio which I didn't bring you guys to last time. It's really pretty here and it's the perfect weather. I'm just walking with you while I was so refreshing I don't know I think it was passion fruit soda or something like that I was just thinking oh my gosh I'm so thirsty but it's too late for an iced coffee so it was right on time I just spent half an hour waiting for a bus that's not coming I showed you guys that I was waiting for the bus and I was like you know what it's been 25 minutes mm -hmm. even if this bus comes and it's quieter than the shuttle bus one I still have to transfer to another bus and still walk. So it might make sense at this point to just go to the shuttle bus and take it. But in order to get to the shuttle bus, I have to hop on a train. And the first train I hopped on went one stop, then went out of service. So we're all there waiting for the next train to come. The next train came, went to one stop and paused. Went another stop and paused for 20 minutes. Then it got to the station where we're all supposed to get off where the shuttle bus begins and the doors weren't open. And I could hear well, so I could hear the guy in the cabin all the way at the front. I guess the operator was saying, for some reason he couldn't get the doors open. And I can also hear people complaining. Like, just open the door, you've been waiting so long. One guy was crouched down. I don't know if he was lightheaded, woozy, or stressed. He'd mentioned to someone else that he's gonna be late for work. I don't know if it's like late, like I'm losing my job today, kind of late, but he was not okay. Another guy like ran past everyone and started, middle finger and cussing off everyone. TTC, this is unacceptable, two days in a row. It's like, yo, people are irate. And I was walking a little bit behind him, so he turned around, he's like, sorry, miss. <laughs> I thought that was so funny that he like went off and then apologized for doing it in my presence. I was like, it's okay, it's fine to be angry, it doesn't bother me. I mean, honestly, I don't think it's the TTC's people's fault either. They're just following orders. I don't know why this city does these shutdowns every other weekend. Technically, I, I lost four hours. I'd be as positive and productive as possible for the rest of the day, basically evening. I hope you guys enjoyed spending another week with me. Don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, stay safe, stay sane, stay blessed. Love you later.